Today I'm wearing my sulforaphane t-shirt from Dr. Rhonda Patrick, so thank you to her. And that's because we're talking about estrogen detox and this is just an important part in one of the three phases of estrogen detoxification. So let's have a look at uh, some slides about estrogen detox and the three different phases, which are one, two, and three. And you would think you might start with phase one first, but that's not the case. So let's have a look. This is a quick explanation of estrogen detoxification using the bathtub analogy, uh, which is from Dr. Carrie Jones, the chief medical officer at the Dutch Hormone Company. So phase one is how much estrogen are you putting into the bathtub? This is controlled by phase one of liver detoxification. And when you do the Dutch test, you can see that there's three different pathways the body can detoxify estrogen down. And this is influenced, of course, by diet and lifestyle, genetics, and the supplements like DIM that can help to improve this. You need to address phase two and phase three before you can fix phase one, though, because if you speed up this phase, but there's a blockage down here, you're just going to be recycling estrogen back into the system. This is phase two of liver detoxification. So the analogy here is this is like the, the plug hole. If the plug is blocked or partially blocked, you're not going to be able to eliminate the water down the bathtub, or in this case, the estrogen. This is also influenced by diet and lifestyle. Everything about health is about your diet and lifestyle and sleep and things like that. Also genetics and the process of a methylation. A lot of people think of MTHFR, which is important, but COMT gene is the most important gene with the metabolism of estrogen. And the supplements like sulforaphane, B vitamins, SAMI, zinc, magnesium. Uh, you don't need all of these supplements. That's why testing can help work out you know, what area your body needs to focus on to improve. The detoxification pathway is not just about estrogen, but about toxins in general. So having more toxicity, heavy metals, parasites, bacteria, they can all influence this um, process here. Once again, you need to address phase three. And phase three is the, the drain. If this is blocked, you can start to recycle the estrogen that you've detoxified in phase one and phase two back into the body. This is also influenced by gut health in particular, bacteria, candida, parasites, poor quality diet, alcohol, and there's an enzyme called beta-glucuronidase that helps control this. This is tested by a stool test known, and it's done in the GI MAP test. So that's one way of knowing, you know, if, especially if you do the Dutch test and you find that phase one and phase two are working perfectly, is there an issue of phase three? 